Good morning. Welcome to the Wednesday, January 11th meeting of estimate and apportionment. First order of business is to approve the meeting minutes from the January 4th meeting. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, new business. Uh, we have an offer to purchase of uh, several properties that are city owned. Uh, 180, 186 Henry Street, 77 Pine Street, 162 Henry Street, Street um, 229 Court Street is not included in the uh, in the purchase that's being used as parking for the fire station. So that's that's not uh, one of the parcels that would be sold. Um, there is a proposal which has been discussed publicly for a mixed use mixed income development of roughly 65 to 75 commercial units, or excuse me, residential units and commercial space. Uh, this will sit in a vacant uh, lot on Henry Street. The uh, Pine Street and other Henry Street lots will be available for the development and ancillary parking. However, the majority of the parking requirement will be uh, done through an agreement with the, the baseball team and use of the stadium. Uh, we're offering these parcels for $1 as part of a city partnership to build the affordable housing on the site. We're also going to be uh, pursuing uh, state dollars uh, for the project. And uh, this is an affordable housing project, very important in revitalization of that area. Are, are there any questions on this? And you know, Lee, just note for the record that the, the sale does not include the 229 Court Street address. Yes, Tito, send me an update on that if you okay. want to go. Perfect. Any questions? All right, I'll entertain a motion. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And for the next series of budget amendments, I will read through each budget amendment. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, we can deal with it then, and then we will take one vote on roughly 12 budget amendments. Um, the last four or seven or eight. Okay. Perfect. So, Mary, you're going to do yep. RL 300 to 307? That's yeah, correct. Yep. Thank you. So RL 300, 300 is an ordinance to amend the 2022 DPW budget. This is to cover additional overtime costs um, and equipment costs by, let me see here, it's the total amount. Sixteen thousand looks to be the total amount, correct? This is just to cover additional equipment and overtime costs. Yes, it is. All right. Do we have a motion or actually never mind? Hold on. Next is RL 22-301. This is to amend the general fund budget to transfer temporary labor amounts um, for pools to uh, the summer workers uh, in the playground for recreation services. Total amount is $19,392.08. Next is RL22-302. This is to amend the 2022 budget to fund costs of employee payout at retirement in the amount of $23,000. RL303. This is to amend the 2022 budget to cover unemployment funds for 2022 the amount of $38,000. RL304 is to amend the general fund 2022 budget to fund bond principal due to refunding last year after the budget was passed. This is in the amount of $205,399.43. Next is RL305 to so increase temporary services by $1,200 in the Office of Corporation Counsel, amending the 2022 budget. RL 306, to amend the 2022 budget to fund various over budget lines and personnel. 
including temporary services by 100, legal ads and advertising by 3,000, and travel and training by $2,943. And finally, an ordinance to amend the general fund budget 2022 for additional holiday pay for Juneteenth, not calculated for the 2022 budget. To increase a retirement by 60,000 and increase holiday pay by 110,000. Mayor, I think we could also include uh, 2304, the amending the general fund for second round of health workers bonds or bonus for fire. Okay. To the motion. All right, and we'll, I would I would make the motion to to approve all of these. So it's RLs three hundred through three hundred seven and RL twenty three hundred four. Do we have a motion? Motion. Do we have a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those motion. Those resolutions are approved. So next is to approve the twenty twenty three bond ordinance. Uh, these. Projects that were already included as part of the 2023 budget will be voted on by city council tonight. Okay. Any questions? Lee, there's a uh, meeting, public meeting tonight on these two, right? Public hearing. Yes, we have three public hearings tonight. One of them is on this bond. Do we have a motion? Motion. A second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next is Earl 22-311. This is to approve a bond ordinance for the six ward sewer interceptor project in the amount of 13 million. This is also to accept a grant of uh, roughly 2.7 million um, and hardship loan at 0% interest. We were successful in getting state grant dollars for this project. Um, cover a little less than 20% of the project. And we're now looking to bond to complete the entire thing. This is a sewer interceptor that takes sanitary sewage from basically all the south side to the joint sewage treatment plant. Any I'll questions? Second. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Lastly is an ordinance to amend to Port Street. Uh, this is the project at the corner of State and Court Street that is uh, no longer moving forward. In consideration for the original sale price, um, we're getting any pre-development documents and fast-tracking, being able to, to pivot and, and move the project in a different direction. As the uh, project principal has stated that uh, it is not moving forward. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Any add ons? All right. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned.